I just wanted to do a really quick video today on a mascara I just bought. Um, so this is kind of like a first impressions video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys the product and the packaging and stuff and then I'll apply it on my lashes and I'll give you a before and after and then I'll give you like kind of how I feel about the product. So let's begin. So this is the Revlon Lash Potion by Grow Luscious Volume and Length Mascara. And it says it has spellbinding volume and length. <laughs> I got it in 001 Black is Black, and it just looks like this. So I just have bare lashes right now. I don't have any makeup on at all, so I figured that would be kind of a good base to show you guys um, just what the difference will be. Just to start off with the packaging, it has a little red band at the top that says new on it. And um, I noticed that some of them have this new and some of them don't. It's a gold one, so not that that really matters or anything, but what does matter is that Right here it says volume length and mascara, but there's a waterproof version and it just, the only way that you know it's waterproof is just right above this it says waterproof at the top. So you have to be really careful if you don't want to buy waterproof to look really carefully or if you want to buy waterproof look really carefully too. That was the only big flaw I kind of noticed with the packaging, otherwise the packaging is really like nice. I like the, <laughs> I like colors. I like how the packaging, it really shows the wand and stuff. It says it's the illusionist wand. I don't really know what that means, but I guess we'll find out. It says on the back, uh, volume and length mascara. The formula with strengthening proteins, amino acids, and essential vitamins revitalizes lashes. The illusionist wand drenches lashes for dramatic volume and combs through lashes for clump free length. Let's open the sucker. So it's got a nice kind of big brush. Looks like just regular, um, not rubber bristles, but just like the regular plastic ones. One side it's flatter, so that must be for volume. And then other sides it's much like thicker and furrier, <laughs> so that must be for length. So I'm guessing you kind of have to go one way and then kind of flip your wrist a little bit and then go the other way just to get the volume and the length. I'm going to apply this right now. What can you see? Oh, there's the camera! Do you ever make weird faces when you do your bottom lashes? Mine's like... <coughs> I'm trying not to make it, but I can't not make it. It applied really easily to the bottom lashes too. I don't feel like it's clumping all over the place or like it's too big of a brush for that. I got a little bit of smudging up here, but that's probably just my own fault because <laughs> I'm not the best at applying mascara. And I'm just kind of like wiggling it up too just to get some extra volume. Alright, so first one's done. So I'll just zoom in here so that you can kind of see like a comparison really side by side. And uh, yeah, okay. Okay, so this is the difference so far. In general, I wouldn't say this is like a super dramatic mascara, um, but I do like it for every day. And it wasn't too wet, it's, it's a good consistency. It looks nice on the bottom lashes too. It's really subtle. It's pretty, I like it. Okay, so I'm going to do my other eye now. So how do you guys apply mascara? Because what I do is for my, like my right eye, I'll do my right hand, and then for my left eye, I'll do my left hand. And I know some people like have to use their right hand, but I'm just ambidextrous that way, I guess. The main reason I got this mascara was because I was in Superstore, and it was $5.96. So it's on sale right now. So um, today is August 9th. So I'm not sure how long the sale goes until, it either goes until Monday or the sale like just started on Friday. So either way, I'm gonna put this video up tonight so you guys will know about the price and stuff. But yeah, I figured because usually I see it at Shoppers for like $12 or so and I noticed that today it was on sale. I went like a whole bunch of places today is where I don't go to Shoppers every day. <laughs> but um, I noticed that it was on sale there for $8.99, but I figured $5.96 is way better. Usually I don't go for a second coat, but just for the sake of um, experimenting, I am going to do a second coat. Okay, I'm going to do the second coat now, and I'll try and just do it into the viewfinder so you guys can kind of see a little bit better how I apply mascara and how it's applying. So. It's very weird not doing this in front of a mirror and just doing it at the viewfinder, that's for sure. And it's gonna wiggle. I'm noticing a lot more volume here than compared to here, so that's good. Yeah, it's definitely a drier mascara, um, but I don't mind that actually. Because what are just like, it feels like it gets everywhere, to me anyway. And um, if you smudge your mascara, 
a good tip is just to wait for it to dry and then take a Q-tip and just uh, just uh, just like twist and then focus yeah and then you just go like whoop and so that that helps if you uh, have eyeshadow on already on your eyelid that it really helps protect it you know you, you don't feel like you're taking away any shadow because it's just one little area and just kind of like that what do I think of this mascara I I like it like I feel like this eye focus. Uh, this eye just clumped a bit more than this one did, but it's not too bad really. Like it's pretty normal and oh no, I like it. For six bucks, yeah, definitely. Pick it up. But again, this is just a first impressions. I don't know if it's gonna like flake throughout the day or not, but I will definitely write a blog post on this mascara um, once I've like tested it out for a couple weeks and stuff like that and then, then you guys will have a full review of it. So <laughs> okay, I'm gonna zoom back out because this is way too close. <laughs> Oh, even closer. That is my first impressions of the, uh, what is it called? Lash Potion. I have the Be Girl Luscious, and this is the waterproof one. I, I liked this one too. This one was pretty good. So um, if you're looking for a waterproof mascara, this one isn't so bad. But like a, a lot of waterproof mascaras, it's really hard to remove. Um, and this one was also in Black is Black, but it's in H21. Um, and this is what it looks like. Remember to make sure that if you want waterproof, it'll say waterproof on it just in tiny writing right there. <laughs> and it doesn't matter if it has this red or uh, gold. It, like, it, that isn't the indicator between waterproof and not waterproof. So it can be red or gold. So, uh, yeah, that's it. And I think they have a couple different colors. They have black is black, black, and black and brown. Those are the three I saw. I just did my nails. Just yesterday, um, I tried the Sally Hansen Magnetic because I got a really good deal on it. And I'll be doing a video on that very soon about deals I've been getting lately. And I did a blog post on like the discount deals I've been getting and that includes these. And I did a review on this nail polish. So definitely check that out on redmustbeauty.com. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.